Hi guys, uh, welcome back. Um, I've had a couple of packages here sent uh, by uh, two YouTubers. Um, it's always uh, difficult when you when you sort of uh, in a, in in a, in a weird way when you get stuff from people because um, I mean it's one thing to do a trade with someone, um, but um, to actually have stuff sent to you is uh, quite hard to take in um, and not to sound ungrateful but it's kind of like you're not used to that level of generosity from people especially from people that you've never met so it can be quite hard to sort of show your gratitude to that person and um, sometimes the you know the natural instinct would be to offer them something in return um, because I, I've sent stuff out to people just you know because I felt they needed it and they just sort of felt obligated or they they didn't feel right receiving stuff from me without um you know them sending something back to me and I'm exactly the same like I I I feel if someone sends me something just because they feel they 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 want to send me something you know I I do try and offer them something back in return you know and uh, most of the times those people say no uh, it's fine I don't want anything um, I just I just thought of you when I had these things and I wanted to send them to you. Um, so it, it can be quite awkward. Um, and uh, yeah, so on topic with this is um, I had two YouTubers send me some stuff. Um, but the first one um, was actually because I had sent that person uh, a game which I had in my collection. And I wasn't expecting anything in return. I just, I had, he mentioned it in a video and um he said he needed it i happened to have a spare one so i thought you know what i contacted him i said i have got a spare one you can have it if you want you know uh the first the first person was uh ben uh, aka shen muso um he was asked he's already shown uh the, the game i sent him in the video so i, I don't mind uh, uh telling uh, saying it now um, but I sent him uh, Uncharted, the first Uncharted game. I had a spare copy. Uh, he's he's been getting into the PlayStation Three, so he sort of had the the second and the third game, and he sort of I didn't have the first one yet. So when I saw he brought it up in one of his videos, um, I thought you know I'm going to send him the game. And naturally, you know he he accepted, but he didn't feel right um, just accepting uh, the game. So he kind of. <laughs> It insisted that uh, I accept uh, something in return. So um, he sort of brought up three uh, Game Boy Advance games because they were the games that he sort of had available to trade. And um, one of the games that he had, I'd actually expressed interest in the past. Um, but I wasn't, you know, I didn't really, you know, I wasn't, didn't care if I had it or not. But, you know, it, it was just, it was a game that I'd expressed an interest before, so you know Ben brought it up. You know, got, I've still got this game that you wanted before. Do you want it? So I thought, you know, just to make him feel better more than anything else, I, I would accept because I I understand it. Like it's hard when you get something for free. You don't quite know how to intake that, so you just feel like you have to offer them something. And I think for Ben, it makes him feel better being able to send something back. And that's fair enough. So I did kindly accept. So he sent me a game. Uh, it's a Game Boy Advance game. And it was one that I've been looking at. Um, simply because I'm a fan of the series. Um, I know this game hasn't gotten a lot of positive reviews. But I'm a fan of the series and I've never played it. So I did want to check it out. And it was boxed and complete. So you know who can say no to that. And the game that Ben sent me was um, The Revenge of Shinobi. And uh, it's in really nice condition. So, you know, I'm not... It'd be hard not to turn it down if it's being offered. So, so I was really happy with this. And uh, I'm very sorry, Ben. Uh, I know you've actually sent me this a long time ago now. I mean, you knew that I had it, but... Um, I had made... I just completely forgot to make a video about it. So, uh, I'm here now. I'm finally making the video. So, uh, thank you very much, Ben, for this. Um, and I'm very happy that you're enjoying uh, Uncharted 1. Um, but you know, you don't, you don't have to send me stuff 
if I send you stuff. I, I know it's awkward, but if I see something, I'm, that's cool. You can have it, mate. It's all good. Because um, uh, Shad Muso is one of my favourite channels on YouTube. Uh, I very much enjoy his stuff. I, I like a lot of what he has to say. And, um, you know, a lot of the times, you know, you just... You, I think most of us will agree is that you know we like to send people stuff because we just enjoy their content and um, if we see that they they need something um, you know it's it's just you, f it's, you feel good just helping them out you know um, not all of us I mean like, like everyone knows that I'm I'm very picky about you know the stuff that I'm getting so you know the, the, there's not a lot of stuff that I want it's not like I'm trying to be rude to anyone it's just you know, like unless you have something very specific, it's it's very hard to sort of accept something because I don't I I want to appreciate the stuff that they're giving me. So um, I would rather not accept something for the sake of upset, just just for just for accepting it. You know, I'll, I, if someone sends me something, I plan to play it. I, I, I want to really you know make the most of of the stuff that they give me. So um, you know, I, I it, it, I've had people offer me stuff in the past. And I've politely turned them down just simply because I don't want them to waste their time sending me something that I'm, I might not appreciate as much as maybe someone else. You know, better better offer it to someone else who would probably appreciate it more than, than, than I would. Yeah, so thank you very much, Ben, for this game. And uh, the next person uh, that I want to talk about here is someone um, who I've, I've actually... I've not been subscribed to them for that long. I mean, it's it's been a, it's been a while now, and um, I have had the opportunity to sort of converse with him back and forth, uh, either through uh, the comments or PMs, and he's a very good guy. Um, he's he's a uh, his his name is Lloyd, and he goes by the YouTube username of uh, Mister Retro Dreaming. And I think he's a very underrated YouTuber because uh, even though he doesn't put himself on camera, um, he does a lot of gameplays and he's got some great collections. Um, he's very much into his import gaming. He he really does not like 50 hertz gaming. It's it's quite funny because um, I'm actually, I don't mind 50 hertz gaming um, one way or the other. It, it's never bothered me even as a kid. I remember when I was a kid, I, had, I knew other kids that... Um, <laughs> despised 50 hertz gaming they just couldn't stand the borders but I didn't I never it never bothered me because the games were playable to me so I, it never bothered me but I know kids I he, he reminds me a lot of the kids that I knew back in the day and um, yeah so it's very hard for me to send stuff to him uh, simply because uh, most of my stuff is in PAL format um, but anyway yeah so he got in contact with me um, basically what it was, he'd, see, he'd seen my last pickups video and uh, in that video at the beginning I'd sort of shown a few still books and basically you know, sort of said that um, I, I, aside from uh, collecting games, I do pick up still books. Uh, not to the same level as I do picking up games, but I do pick up still books. And uh, Lloyd said to me that he had a still book um, that he hadn't used, it was sealed, brand new and sealed. And it was just lying there, and he was he was happy to send it along my way. Uh, but he also said that he was going to send me uh, a few extras as well. I had no idea what the extras were. He just sort of said he was going to send me some extras. Um, and I and like and like I was saying before, you know, like I, I feel funny when people just want to give you stuff. You feel like you want to give something in return, and um, I tried to offer Lloyd something in return. I did end up sending him something in return. Thank God he accepted, but it no, it's nowhere near equal to the to what he sent me. Um, he just sort of mentioned, uh, I think he needed like a loose disc for a game um, that I happen to have complete. So I did send it his way, but um, you know it's not equal to what he sent me, and um, so it's still kind of like uh, I'm just very thankful to Lloyd. Uh, for just out of the kindness of his heart to feel that, you know, he would want to send me uh, this stuff. So moving on, I have the box here. Now again, this has already been opened. Um, it's arrived last week. Um, so I'm only getting around to doing the video now. Uh, 
I, I have, I've just kept it in the box. I have taken them all out and stuff, but I just like storing them in the box for some reason. Uh, I, I, did, I haven't kept it in the box for the sake of the video. It was just that I just thought, well, I'm going to keep it in the box for the time being. So it serves as a, as a, as a package video, but it's not really because I've already checked all the stuff. But yeah, so opening up, I got a note and it says, Hi Roberto, hope you like the extra items. As you know, I've been having a good clean out, so I thought you might like these extra items. Enjoy, Lloyd, aka Mr. Retro Dreaming. Thanks a lot, mate. I really do appreciate it. Um, and it's like I say, it's always about when people think about you and they sort of think, well, I've got this, so let me send it your way, you know? So I'm very, very appreciative. Um, I think I'm going to start with the main item since it's, it's the it's the it's the non-gaming item. It's a steel book. Uh, yeah, I've still got it in the paper, Lloyd. I did open it up, I swear. I just, I don't know why. I just felt like I wanted to keep it wrapped up. Um, so let's open this all up. Really well packaged, by the way, Lloyd. I really do appreciate it. Okay. Right. So the steel book that he sent me this is actually uh, quite cool. It's... um. It's, I have seen this film, but I actually don't have it in my collection. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a very cool uh, action film, and that is um, Sherlock Holmes: uh, A Game of Shadows. Uh, this is the sequel film, isn't it? I, I believe. Yes, it is. Uh, so yeah, really nice of Lloyd to just send me this film. Um, I don't know why you had a sealed copy and you didn't even open it to watch it. It's very strange. Um, but thank you very much, Lloyd, for this. I, I very much uh, appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, so he sent me a couple of games here. I had no idea uh, what he was going to send me. So, really, really nice of him. First game he sent me, and um, this is a DS game. And uh, I was shocked because the game is sealed. It's brand new and sealed. And uh, I'd heard that this game is quite rare, although I don't know if um, the UK one is quite rare, because I'd heard of this game before, I'd seen uh, some American YouTubers bring it up before, uh, and they'd mentioned that in the US it's actually a very rare game, but I don't know about the PAL, PAL format, but I've, nev I've never seen this game in stores. Um, but to him not only send me this game, but it's also like completely sealed, it's just... I don't even know what to say to that, honestly. <laughs> but the ge the game he sent me was um, Electroplankton. This is, uh, from what I can tell, a uh, music rhythm game. And uh, yeah, just it's completely sealed. It's got a hang tab and everything. Um, so I, I honestly, I was really shocked to get this game um, because I wasn't expecting it. Um, the other game, even the, that he stayed sent me, even though I'd um, he'd mentioned the, 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 the format of the game that he was going to send me, he didn't mention what game it was. And he made no mention of this game whatsoever. So thank you very much, Lloyd, for this. Um, I really appreciate it. Although, I won't be keeping this sealed because I don't do sealed games. I'm, I'm very much, I like to play them. And uh, since... You went out of your way to send this to me. I'm definitely going to make use of it. So thank you very much, Lloyd. And the last game he sent me, and this is really, really cool. Um, I mean, it's a well-known, it's a very popular, well-known game. It's a super, but it's a super fam conversion of the game, and uh, it's always nice to get a bit of variety. And uh, uh, Lloyd had sent to, had said to me that um, you know he. He, he wasn't sure about sending me this because it wasn't in the best of conditions and and whatnot. But Lloyd, honestly, when you send people stuff for free, I mean, who's going to really moan about the condition, really? Um, you know, it, who cares? Uh, like, it, it, it's, it's in good enough condition that I'm perfectly happy with. And on top of all that, he sends it in a box protector as well. And it's one of the Sentinel-64 box protectors that are very nice and thick. Uh, the, the Super Famicom game he sent me is um, Super Mario World. So yeah, just really, really happy uh, that he sent me this. Um, 
because I've never played a, a Japanese version of the game. Um, I'm obviously, I'm sure it plays exactly the same, but but it's 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 just weird though, just to see the um, the Japanese perspective of of games that we grew up as as kids. You know, I mean, we're we're very used to seeing the games portrayed a certain way, so it's it's very nice to have a look at what the Japanese. Uh, as you could say, probably these games were originally intended to be. Um, I actually haven't even opened it up yet. Uh, I, I imagine it is complete. Um, but yeah, and it's also in a box protector, which is awesome. So thank you, thank you very much, Lloyd, uh, for this as well. So that's it, box is empty. Um, so yeah, thank you very much uh, to Lloyd and Ben uh, for sending me uh, those games. Um, you know, like I said, I just want to reiterate that it's always very nice to get stuff from people. It's very weird though because obviously I'm a, I'm a very small channel and um, you know I don't get a lot of views. Um, I, I know I do have regular viewers, but I I, I don't get a lot of views. So it's, it, I, you never think that you're relevant enough in this massive YouTube community that people would think of you to to send you stuff. And um, you know, I mean I. I like to send other people stuff, you know, because I'm small potatoes. I'll send it to someone else, you know, whatever. I mean, to be honest with you, it, it, the size of your channel doesn't really matter. People don't, most people don't really care about that. If, you, if your channel is good, people, that's what people like. Um, I mean, I, I don't send people stuff because their channel is big. I don't give a shit about that. But what I mean to say is, is that, you know, amongst the hundreds of, 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 of sort of gaming related channels, people, you know, will remember you and send you stuff which is always nice and um it can be very hard to sort of uh, show your gratitude um so i'm gonna quit rambling thank you very much both ben and lloyd uh, for sending me these items um i hope you're happy with the stuff that i sent you um and uh, that's it so thank you very much guys for watching um i will be back very soon um i don't know when but uh, it will be soon so Thank you very much, and uh, I will speak to you next time. Bye-bye.